Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got several sea scallops drip drying in a colander. And before you cook these bad boys, you want to make sure you get rid of all the dampness by just setting in a paper towel and folding it over and gently patting it like this. Nothing to it. Now all you have to do is season each one of them with a little bit of kosher salt and pepper. And you really don't need to get carried away with this. There's a few other things that we're going to do in the cooking process, as well as a little secret sauce I'm going to show you how to make to really flavor these things up when they're done. Now over on the stove I've got a hot pan. Now if you're smart, or dumb, you save your bacon grease like I do. I like to take a heaping tablespoon of this stuff and let that melt down in the pan. There is a ton of flavor here that you want to take advantage of when you're making your scallops. So you just take the seasoned side face down, right in the bacon grease. And this is one of the reasons why you want your scallops dry when you add them to the pan. They get a much better sear and they don't end up splashing all over the place fighting with that grease. And it only ends up taking about two and a half minutes to get some good color. Now here I'm going to add three bottled ingredients that you can find just about any grocery store that has an Asian or Oriental section. It's a lot easier and cost efficient to buy each one of these than try to make each one from scratch just to make this sauce. And I'm going to tell you what they are and give you the ingredients on my website. So make sure you follow the full recipe links back to my blog. Now if you'll notice the bottom of these scallops are starting to get some color. But since we only added seasoning to one side of the scallop, we need to kosher salt and pepper this side before we flip. And using a non-stick pan really helps these things not stick. Now I don't know about you, but I think that looks perfect. I mean, just look at this. Oh, make sure you don't drop them. Yep, that there's perfection. So once these all get flipped over, the only thing we've got to wait for now is for it to lose its translucence, which only takes about another minute or so. But we're not finished yet. I like to treat it a bit like a steak by throwing in some garlic and some softened butter. Once that melts down, you can spoon that flavor right over the top of each one. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's check the bottom. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and pull them from the heat. Now I like to spoon down a teaspoon of sauce for each one. It's a bit excessive, I'll admit. It gets a little messy, but I love this sauce. It's great with calamari, shrimp, sea bass, on and on. I mean, just look at that. Sitting right down in that sweet Asian sauce. Mmm, mmm. Now here I've got my blackened seasoning I keep advertising. It's good stuff by the way. Just a real quick pinch over the top of each one. And uh, pinch around the side of the plate to make it look nice. And there you have it. Sea scallops right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.